we just said that the bottom shape is a parallelogram. So opposite sides are equal. So you put a two over here, right? Uh, so now we know all the sides for perimeter, right? So if you're looking at a phone, over here, right? You should get all this down. So uh, outside, two, eight, two, three point five, four. I'm not including the inside three height. I don't need them. So perimeter, we're gonna add those up. So two plus eight plus two plus three point five plus. Okay, and I heard 19.5. Yep. And all these measurements are supposed to be inches. Is it squared or not? Not squared because it's one dimensional distance, length, whatever you want to say. Now, area, uh, what am I going to have to do? Find each shape. So I'm going to find the area of the parallelogram. And I'm going to find the area of the triangle if you want with those two numbers. Does everyone know, for composite, add the two areas. So first find each, and then add them up. So let's do area of a parallelogram. Okay, so you were right. Area of a parallelogram. Does everyone know it's base times height? Okay. So we're going to do 8 times 3, which is... 24, cool. And then uh, for the now area of a triangle is where people goof up. So what do I have to not forget on a triangle? Not forget to divide by two on a triangle. Okay. So base times height. Now what's the base of this triangle? What is this right here? It's not labeled, but you know opposite sides are equal, so yeah, it has to be eight. So eight times three. Don't forget to divide by two. A triangle. Yeah, 24 over 2, you get 12. So I got two parts, two areas. Like we just said before, we're going to add them up. The total area. So area equals 24 plus 12, which is 36, what? Square inches, or inches squared. Because area is always squared, right? Two dimensions. So area is always square inches. Now, you know we have a week and two days left in this nine weeks. You gotta be passing, right? I'm here at, for tutoring today after school till five. I'm gonna die. Okay? So come after school or every morning. I do have a meeting tomorrow at eight, so if you come tomorrow, tomorrow morning, seven to eight early, um, or Friday, seven till the bell. Basically. Um, so next week we'll see what's up. Right now, I want you to finish these three assignments. Composite figures from the last two days, area and perimeter from last week, quadrilaterals from the week before that. If you finished all your assignments, then you should be good to go to start the review. So does everyone see where I'm pointing? Next to the turn-in bin is the review. On the wall, I have put the answers, the videos on the YouTube channel. Everyone should be working on something. I trust you to be mindful of your grade and doing what you need to do. Um, even if your grade's good right now, the test Friday, if you don't do well, you know, it will affect you. So if your grade's low, test Friday can help you bring it up. So everyone's going to be working hard on something. Let's do that now.